Algebra 2 Honors, Lesson 9.3, Graphing Rational Functions. Graph the following rational function. What happens? Well, let's just throw in the calculator see what we get. And I just realized the picture's not quite right. That'll have to do. So, x divided by... x minus 3. Graph. You can see it up here on the right side of the screen. That it comes down and hits something vertical here. It's not actually part of the graph. That's something else. So that's called an asymptote. And I can just tell you right now it's at x equals 3. How did I know that? Well, that's how we find vertical asymptotes. We set the um, denominator equal to zero and that gives us our vertical asymptotes and then kinda cheat a little bit using the graph and I'll show you how to do that a little bit later and we just draw it in So there it is. We graphed it. Now how about this following rational function? What happens? Well, whenever I see an x squared, I always say, boy, I better factor the bottom. And since we just played with all this, I say, well, these would cancel, leave me with 1 over x minus 2. So set the bottom equal to 0. x minus 2 equals 0. We have a vertical asymptote at x equals 2. And sure enough, if we look at this and say, well, let's put 0 in. Let's find out what's going on right here. Uh, we'd get negative 1 half, so it would be down here. So I'm going to guess that this is doing something like this. Except right there is something we call a hole. I'm going to guess it's doing something like that. So what's at x equals 1 in the previous problem? A hole. And how did I know it was there? It's not that hard. It's a canceled factor. So when I canceled it, I knew there was going to be a hole there. Now the problem is we can't really see it when we graph. Don't know what happened there. So we graph it, and hey, look at that. It looks like I graphed it just right. But where's the hole? Well, for that, you have to go to second table. And notice that at 1 and 2, there's errors. Well, the error at 2 is uh, the asymptote. And you can tell that by changing the table, saying let's start at uh, uh, 1, and let's go up by 0.1. Then we look at the table, and you see there's error at 1. 
It looks like everything was marching along nicely until it got to that error. And it looks like it froze up on me. That's okay. So you get the general idea. Now, the question you should be asking is, well, how did I know where to draw these? And we call those horizontal asymptotes. X equals something is a vertical asymptote. So I happen to know that the horizontal asymptote is at y equals 0, right across the middle. I'll explain how I know that in a moment, but it has to do with the powers here. This is a 1 power, and this is a 2 power. When the power on the bottom is greater than the power on top, you'll have one at y equals zero. Well, where is it over here? It looks a lot like it's at y equals one. And it is because you have power to the one, power to one, take the coefficients, which is an invisible one, invisible one. So it would be one over one, which is just one. So this is a lot to kind of grasp, but that's okay because you've got that calculator to bail you out. So here's the rules I wrote up, which I rarely do. I want you to figure things out, but every now and then it's nice to have it all written down. To find the vertical asymptotes, you first factor, look for cancellations. If you have a cancellation, you're going to have a hole. And the hole will be at x equals something. If there's no hole, then you have either vertical asymptote, you know, you could have one or two. Hopefully, I'll have one of those for you momentarily. Now, for your horizontal asymptotes, if the power asymptotes, if the power on top is equal to the power on the bottom, then you look at the coefficients. So, for example, 3x to the third over 4x to the third plus 2x, you would have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 3 fourths. If the power on the bottom is greater, then you automatically have one at y equals zero. So if you had, I should be drawing these in as f of x's. Not that it really matters. x to the third over five, 4x to the fourth minus 5x squared. You're going to have a horizontal asymptote at y equals zero. Now, a lot of people say, okay, well, what if the power on the top is greater? Well, we'll have a slant asymptote, but we'll do that one another time. Soon enough. So, let's try a couple examples. And you may want to pause, look at your notes, and try them on your own, because I'm going to buzz through them quickly. x minus 4 over x plus 5 times x minus 4. These cancel, so I know I'll have a hole at x equals 4. I know I have a vertical asymptote, x equals negative 5. And a horizontal asymptote since the power on the bottom is bigger, at y equals 0. I don't feel like using my calculator, so if I put in 0, I get a slightly positive number. I have a hole at 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. It's about here. Maybe it's here. Maybe it's here. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I'm getting a rough idea on this. So it's going to be doing something like this. And then here it's going to be doing something like this. And if I put negative 10 in and check real quick. Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong. No, that's going to give me a negative number. So yeah, that'll work. You can always check with the calculator. I'm just being lazy. So this one looks a little complicated. Get a factor out of 2 first. Factor the bottom. So 
So I factor the heck out of it, and pff, it doesn't even help me. Nothing cancels. So no holes. We have vertical asymptotes, two of them this time. X equals negative 1 and negative 8. And power on the top is 2, and the coefficient is 2, power on the bottom. So we have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 2 over 1 equals 2. This is a weird one. we got squared on top and bottom. It's a little unusual. It's going to do this. And I only know this because I went and graphed it. You can know it too by plugging some numbers in. Um, it's also going to do, let's see what happens at zero. Cancel, 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 negative one. So zero will be here. So it'll do this. And I believe it also does this, but I would have to check with my calculator or put negative 10 in. Uh, 100 minus 90. It can be positive on the bottom, positive on top, so it will be up here. Something like that. Lots of practice for you here. Good luck.